everybody, it's Gordon Xavier here today to support you in your evolutionary journey. What I'm going to share with you today revolves around channeling. All right, this is something that I've had somewhat, I've had some experiences with. Uh, channeling, channeling my higher self. And letting these words begin to kind of pour in the, uh, a particular vibration to, to come inside of the body. And then to begin to guide the words, to guide the, the motions, to guide, you know, the beingness, right? Letting the vibration be the guide as opposed to allowing or forcing the mind to be the guide, right? And, and I've, I've experienced this so many different times in my life and, and it's coming to a place where I'm starting to like understand the science of it. You know, it's like for me, like channeling, you know, when I, when I, the way I think of channeling, it's, it's nothing that's like too mystical or too mysterious or too, you know, like, uh, it's not, nothing crazy. It's like, we're always channeling, you know, channeling is something that we're always doing, uh, whether we're conscious of it or we're unconscious of it. Maybe sometime, maybe there's some, uh, period in our life where we're channeling something like maybe you're channeling a past trauma into, into the moment, right? Maybe it's something in your physical reality right now is like triggers a particular thought and, and, and then it triggers it subconsciously and you begin to channel the emotion, the energy and the consciousness associated with that thing that happened in the past into the now you begin to channel it, bring something that's not currently here physically. You're bringing that non-physical experience, memory, energy, you're bringing it through, you're channeling it into the body you're like a, a radio and you're tuning into the station and you're channeling those frequencies into this radio and then you're expressing it out through the radio that you are the brain is like a radio it's a receiver and so channeling to me is just nothing more than tuning into a particular vibration right tuning into it consciously or unconsciously tuning into a particular frequency vibration i like to call it clear intention right tuning into that energy into that consciousness and then allowing it to begin to resonate inside the mind and the heart and the body and giving it space to begin to express itself right and so that that for me is how i would define channeling is like it's nothing anything something crazy like you know people may think and and oftentimes like we'll go to we'll see Bashar or we'll see Abraham Hicks or like any of these big name people who channel and and make a uh make a big deal out of them and which is a beautiful thing like it's it's a very like you know not not many of us are very familiar with channeling and so we see Abraham Hicks or Bashar it's like whoa but all of us have that capability because we're all space holders we're all humans we're all these vehicles channeling in uh, a spiritual being an uh, individualized spiritual being and mine in particular we call it uh, Gordon <laughs> and you have a, a particular version of God or your spiritual highest self you're tuning into a station right now and you're channeling that in here and so the thing about channeling is it's something that can be done uh, to improve the quality of our lives, right? It's like, what am I going to channel today? What vibration, what frequency, what station am I going to tune into today and allow to enter inside of my body? Allow, like, so what, what am I going to allow to enter into me so, I, so it can guide me? And I like, I like to do that with what I, I like to tune into divine high vibrations of love, uh, God, you know, divinity, uh, appreciation, gratitude. I like to begin to connect to these energies and allow them to guide me, right? To allow them to enter in and allow those energies in motion to enter into my body and create a new type of motion, a new chemical, physical, emotional reaction with this vessel, this Gordon, uh, this being, and then mix in and then go out and, you know, express and, and, and give in its own unique way, in my own unique way. And so channeling can be a very powerful tool that can support a particular type of creation in our lives. So it's important to begin to increase awareness and consciousness revolving around, around, revolving around what am I channeling right here, right now? What am I channeling right here, right now? Am I channeling uh, 
the energy that's associated with complaining, with scarcity, not good enough, uh, anger, frustration, jealousy, envy. What am I channeling into my experience right now that's causing me to experience things in my experience and my reality that I don't prefer? What am I channeling into? And so it's a big deal to become self-aware, right? And, and that's been a huge thing for me. I recognized in my life I was channeling in a bunch of things unconsciously that were not serving me. And so as I began to get coaching and get mentorship, uh, they, they, they brought to my attention of what I was tuning into through deep reflection and, and deep conversation, like what unconsciously I was channeling. And, you know, and, uh, and in becoming conscious of it, I can make a choice to stop channeling that and to switch the radio station over to something more preferable so that I may experience that instead. So my invitation to you today is to become more aware of what it is you're channeling. What are you bringing in? Right? What are you inviting in? What are you tuning into? Unconsciously, what are you tuning into? Right? What memories? What, what are you imagining? What experiences? What, what are you tuning into? And if you find yourself creating things in your reality, if you find yourself experiencing things in your reality that you don't prefer, that's an indication that you're channeling, you're bringing something into your being, and you're, 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 uh, you're bringing something through the portal of your vessel, you're bringing it through into your dream, into your reality. And so it's important to ask yourself, what am I channeling? I invite you to reflect on that. And it's a beautiful thing to become aware of the crappy things, of the, the, the pain points that you're channeling in, because then you get to stop recreating what it is. Like, you're like, why does this keep happening to me? Well, because you're, you're channeling in something you're not aware that you're channeling in. And so it's important to become aware of those things so that you can consciously bring things that you desire through your portal, through you, through your heart center, through your mind, through your beingness. You can consciously choose what it is you want to bring through. And that's been amazing for me. Oftentimes is how these videos can kind of come through is like tuning in and connecting to a, a clear vibration, a clear intention to bring something through that can be potentially, potentially useful to whoever's watching this. And to connect to love and to wisdom and to guidance and to feel the vibration of that and to thank its presence. Not to like try to reach for the presence, but to just surrender and allow. Just believe in it. There's, no, there's nothing you have to do to achieve it. It may help to become more self-aware so you can clear some space out and to become conscious of what you're unconsciously, like what attention you're unconsciously using to channel into something. That may serve you. And then after that's done, there's nothing else to do besides to be and besides to like really just tune in. Just, just feel it. Just feel it. You know, and, and, and thank the consciousness. Thank the presence of that particular vibration, frequency, consciousness. Now. Because there's no... That consciousness doesn't have any uh, physical laws it has to abide by. God, divinity, your highest self, doesn't abide by the same physical laws of the universe as you. And so the moment you say yes on a deep level, it's an instant transmission. It's instant. Same way I... Boom, 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 and I call you, and, it's, and your phone is instantly ringing... It's the same way we can call on God. We can call on the universe. We can call on divinity. We can call on your higher self. We can call on that and tune into it. And the moment you say send, the moment that, the, that, that button is pressed, that green button is pressed to start ringing, it is received. And the moment you open your ears to hear it, you can hear it. It just takes it's just a matter of clearing space and connecting. 
So with all this being said, much love. I hope this serves you in your evolution and your journey. If it has, hit the like button, leave a comment, share your ideas and your thoughts below, and we can stay connected. Namaste.